more and more often in your English classes, you're going to see short answer response questions. They're also called OERs, open-ended response questions, but they're one paragraph answers in response to a question. And they follow a format that we can call APES or we can call TEAK. Every paragraph has one topic. It can only have one topic. And that topic is, in the case of an OER or an SAR, it is the answer to the question. For example, in taking a stand, you are given the question, what is bullying? And your answer to that question, bullying is unwanted and aggressive behavior, is an example of a topic sentence. This means that everything in that paragraph can only be about bullying being unwanted and aggressive behavior. That's the topic sentence. It's the answer to the question. The next part is the evidence or the proof. And this should come from your text. Just like you saw in the topic sentence, text was used to define bullying. We're also going to use evidence and examples from the text to support our answer. For example, Isabella Petrini and her friends would say cruel and hurtful things about other students. That's an example from the text that shows what bullying is. And it uses text evidence, which you can see within the quotation marks. Next, it's time to explain the evidence. Nobody wants to have gossip and mean comments being made toward them. They're explaining how the example goes back to how bullying is unwanted. Nobody wants to have mean things said about them. That's the E in both ape and the second E in teak. The final part is to conclude your answer. And you can conclude it with a summary statement. Even though this kind of behavior isn't physical, it's still considered bullying. Altogether, you'd have this. Bullying is unwanted and aggressive behavior. For example, Isabella Petrini and her friends would say cruel and hurtful things about other students. Nobody wants to have gossip and mean comments being made toward them. And even though this kind of behavior isn't physical, it's still considered bullying. STAR is going to start having short answer questions again. Your AP classes are going to have short answer questions again. Think Tank and Study Sync require uh, short answer questions and it's a skill that you need to master sometimes it'll have more than four sentences you might decide to give two examples of bullying with two explanations and thus end up with a six or eight sentence paragraph as long as all the sentences are related to the topic sentence